Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. Well, our next guest is escaping the Toronto heat. Yeah, is she ever? Tara Brown <laughs> joining us. Uh, filmmaker and uh, her documentary, I Met a Man from Burma. We both had the opportunity to see it the other night and uh, it's just amazing. It's an incredible 22 minutes. Tara, how, how are, are you, Tara? Tara? I'm good, I'm good. I'm, again, so, I'm escaping the heat. I'm yeah, I was going to say, how, I hear yeah. Toronto's like smoking hot right now. Yeah. No, it's it's really hot. So BC is like your air conditioning. Yeah, you just come here. it's great. And you say that you love this weather. Yeah, I do. I like this weather right now. <laughs> well, I'll switch with you. You stay here. I'll go back to Toronto. Uh, let's talk about this film. I met a man from Burma. Uh, sure. um, and maybe we should start uh, with the meeting because there's one gentleman that's the subject of this. So maybe set the whole thing up for us. Sure. It's about uh, Lirwa Lobo. He's a Burmese refugee from Burma. And the documentary is basically about him talking about his country and really about what's really going on in Burma from yeah. his take. And um, it's also interclipped with footage of Burma that um, was basically sent to me. So, How did you meet Lirwa? Um, I met him at a party. <laughs> um, uh, a party um, that was a friend who runs the campaign for Free Burma for Canada. Yeah. And yeah, the, these two Burmese, actually two Burmese refugees walked in and they were totally, um, they look like everyday people, like yeah. normal. And then we got to talking and they told me about their life and I was so impacted that I felt like I had to do something. I don't know why, but I just got really... Um, like I needed to do something. And this so. is your first documentary. It is. Yeah. And uh, did you have a background in history or politics or was it just meeting this person that made you decide to do this? Um, well, I actually, I have my degree in criminology um, from SFU. So I studied like all different kinds of people and people that have gone through a lot of problems, criminals yeah. and uh, victims and mainly um, I would say victims of society kind of so I have a heart for that yeah. um, and also my I'm coming from a family that has immigrants in it my father's an immigrant so, so I you identify. hear these stories um, what did you know about Burma? because I think I'm like most Canadians I mean I recognize obviously Burma and the name, and I, I know there's turmoil, and I know they've been uh, fighting for you know democracy and, and to get some recognition within their own country. But how much did you know about this beforehand? Um, I didn't really know too much. I was like Burma, like, and I felt there was a connection there spiritually. It was more of a spiritual thing because I, I've been pra I've been practicing some Buddhist um, yeah. spiritual things, and I think maybe I could have manifested somehow because it is a so it resonated Buddhist right away with you. Yeah, yeah. And what what did you take away from learning about Lirwa, his family, and his story? Because, it, like many stories of refugees, it is not a happy story at all. No. But what did you take away from it? Um, like, to be grateful for what we have um, as people. Like, you know, being born in Vancouver, like yeah. it's my hometown. Yeah. Um, I'm so lucky. And also to just reflect on my life and say, you know, when times get tough, you just look at other people that have gone through so much. And he's also a, a huge fighter, like he's a fighter. Yeah. So I learned that from him, like, you know, something goes wrong, get up and, and fight and go well, for it. And so. I love the filming style as well, because you obviously made a decision as a director just to sit with him and, and just interview him. And, and, and it's yeah. mostly, I mean, like you said, it's intercut with, with footage and, and visuals from Burma, but, but to listen to him as a man, as a human being, tell his story, uh, was incredibly effective because it kind of removes some of those barriers and stuff. Did you think that way right away or, or? Well, I'm like much of like my work for this project was inspired by actually the David Lynch interview project and he focused just on everyday people. That's yeah. how, he, what he did. And I was inspired by that. And then I, I, I was, I really liked the psychological reactions and I, I thought that people would identify with a person yeah. outside of his country. Yeah. So that- You can feel his isolation also because yeah. it's just him. We don't see you and he's sitting there telling his story and you can feel his family's not here. He's lost everything fighting for what yeah. he believes in. Yeah. So what's next for you as the director? You're gonna go to another party and find someone's story? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I think like what I have next is I've actually written a, a TV pilot, um, The Poacher, which is for another short film that I've worked on. Right. 
And I'm I'm looking out for doing another similar kind of um, idea for yeah. documentary. Well, it's so inspiring to 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 see what human beings are capable of overcoming and fighting for and and sacrificing for. You know, that's amazing when you hear someone and, and they put that all in perspective. You know, that's yeah. pretty inspiring stuff. Well, Tara, Thanks. thank you so much. You can get a chance to see I Met a Man from Burma. It's going to be screening Thursday, July the 21st. That's tomorrow at the Van City Theatre. The doors open at 6.30. If you want to check it out, please do. It's an amazing story. Very much. Thank you thank very you. much. Thank you so much for Enjoy having going me. back into the furnace. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully we get a little bit of it out here. That would be nice. We're going to take a break.